Hi, I'm Jennifer Field here with IDA TV here at the 52nd Annual Visionary Awards for East West Players. I'm here with a uh, father-son team, you could say. Yeah, um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, almost don't need an intro, but of course, you know Jeff and Hudson Yang. Uh, welcome back, guys. How does it feel tonight? I know you've uh, been here many a time. What's different about tonight? Uh, well, <laughs> well, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, no, no. It's it's amazing to be here again. It's always wonderful being here and seeing everyone. Uh, I think this is it's not that different. I mean, we we see the same crowd, and we see it's I mean, a community it's in that community. way. Yeah, but we have a little family here. That we all hang out. It's true. I I will say though that I feel like this is a year in which the representation of Asian Americans uh, on screen has awesome. yes, it's completely exploded. Uh, we're we're uh, on the cusp of seeing, I think, a historic moment with the uh, Crazy yeah, the, yeah the premiere of Crazy Rotation. Who's that? I don't know. My mom. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look. You know, four years ago when Fresh Off the Boat premiered on on uh, network television, I don't think anybody expected that we would four years later still be here. Yeah. Um, if that was the crack in the dam, I think we're finally at a moment in which. Asian Americans are arriving in Hollywood. Uh, we are the population of the United States who watches more movies per capita than any other. Uh, we are connected to the largest populations on the in the world, right? Um, so there's no reason why we should wait 25 years for movies like The Joy Luck Club and uh, Crazy Rich Asians and television shows like Fresh Off the Boat to come along that center on our stories. Right. Well said. Whatever he said. <laughs> Your dad is so smart. Yeah, I, I'm just like kind of standing here. I don't know. You're yeah. the one who's making history, man. Okay. Yeah, seriously, it's a lot thanks to you, especially what he's talking about, about the dam breaking yeah. is a lot thanks to you, Hudson. I mean, you are a household name and face across the world. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I don't know. I, I can't tell you anything, yeah. I mean, he just said it all, so. So... Uh, what have you been doing while waiting for the next season? <laughs> no, don't, don't ask me that question. Stop it. You know, I mean, we're waiting on the news, right, to find out. Okay, yes, yes. I mean, either way, it's been a great run so far. And so um, I know that there's a big, you know, you guys have a lot of fans. So there's a lot of people rooting and doing, I think, like petitions and signatures and making sure that the show comes back. I'm, we're, like, we're like hoping it'll come back, but a lot of people are like, are producers and stuff they're they're hopeful and they're they're pretty much they're confident they're confident so i'm confident too i, I think we'll come back i think we'll come back. maybe for one more season one more season where's the wood <laughs> um so hudson are you like done with school or i'm sure you're homeschooled but like what's the school status you know for you <laughs> a very complicated school life right now like uh my mom and my dad have two different views on school like my dad wants me to like do school work and like just do school all the time as long as it's a school and my mom wants me to have a social life so I'm going to two different schools um, one that's like an hour and a half away to do school and then one where I'm sitting here not having a social life anyways so it's it, it's it's com it's it's complicated yeah it's complicated. I don't even know how to explain it it's just kind of like a mess don't hang out your educational dirty laundry on TV <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it sounds like you have good balance because your parents are wanting different things for you and I think both of those things are very important for you besides the fact that you're a working professional. I mean, can you imagine the life that you have, those three things, balancing them? Oh my gosh. I, 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 I can imagine it. It's, 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 it's your real life. It's my life. <laughs> can you guys share a favorite memory that um, you want to share for everybody uh, for about East West Players, you know? And that's what I've been asking everyone tonight. It's kind of the theme. Um, Something that you want to share? Favorite moment or memory? Um, I think my favorite moment was the first um, East West player play I ever went to. Uh, I, it was that one with the crazy mom who <laughs> Next to normal. Next to normal. <laughs> that was the first one I ever went to, I think. And it was like really recent. So that's like my only memory. But I thought it was really good. I still have songs stuck in my head. But yeah. Including the one that was performed tonight. Yeah. Uh, well, and that didn't help at all, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, I joined the board this year. Um, and Which is why he has that name tag. Uh, this name I tag, stole. yeah. But the, the reason I joined was because uh, I am convinced that, again, we are in this historic moment. Uh, and East West Players it plays a critical role in building the pipeline of new performers uh, and writers and creators 
who are necessary to fuel a transformation in Hollywood and its landscape. I, I think that uh, it, it's critical right now for us to be part of these organizations to support these creative works because if we want to see ourselves on TV, um, we have to build that. And that's what this event is part of. Absolutely. Well said, Jeff. Always a pleasure, guys. We love, we love having you. Anytime, anytime. Yeah. I said a few words today. Thank you so much. <laughs>